Well, hello. This video and those that follow are going to document the ongoing modifications and restoration to my Airstream Argosy trailer behind me here. Uh, an Airstream Argosy is a very rare model of Airstream that actually came from the factory painted. This one wasn't this color. I painted it to match, well, the Rover. Anyway, if you follow along, you'll be able to see all the work I've done to it from, uh, from absolutely bone stock to how it is today. Cheers. <coughs> Greetings and welcome back to the Argosy Coach Refit. Today's a big day because it's the day we start gutting. Well, I start gutting. Um, so I thought it'd be a good day to give you a bit of a tour of the Argosy before I rip it apart. Anyone who's familiar with the Argosy 24 foot uh, layout would recognize this quite quickly. Uh, this particular coach has the front gaucho. Um, you recognize the 1973 green. Uh, this coach had the original rear twin um, I'm only using one side right now because I'm living in this trailer and need quite a bit of extra storage. Um, otherwise, it's pretty much exactly a stock. I've owned this trailer about 10 years and really I've changed nothing in it other than a new hot water heater some time ago. The real, real sin, I believe, in the Argosy trailer is the bathroom, um, especially this one. It's a terrible waste of space. Uh, the tank failed about a year ago, so I've taken the toilet out. It's a good place to store the djembe using a porta potty for now. The shower for me, because it's in the back corner, has a curve coming in in both directions, uh, which for me uh, really limits my headroom. So I use it, but it's often storage in those boxes are my new solar panels. Again, I find this a real terrible use of space. Um, these two twins were wonderful when we had our uh, when we were camping with our children. It worked out really, really well, but we're past that now, so it's time to move on. Uh, the kitchen layout is actually not too bad. I'm going to leave it much as it was. This cabinet drives me crazy because I'm six foot three, and doing the dishes um, is just a nightmare. I mean, the ducking under or reaching over, it just doesn't work for me. So I'm going to take that cabinet out, redo all this. Um, I'm going to switch the front gaucho to sort of a banquette seating, sort of a dinette, but with a couch going all the way around the back. So it'll be more of a living room type space. I haven't fully developed that yet, but uh, I know pretty much what I'm going to do. And this area here with the fridge and uh, this little bit of counter works out very well for me, actually. I like this. Um, so I'll leave this largely the same. Anyway, I'll be uh, switching to a rear bedroom. So the back third or so of the coach will be a double bed. I think in the States they call that just a full. And that bed will come right up to just at the back of these windows. This section here the window and the section forward to that bulkhead will be the new bathroom. It'll be a wet bathroom, uh, so it'll be a lot more a lot more space in it. And this side here will also be in the bedroom up to the window, and then a hanging locker in this bay, uh, accessible from here, and a pantry accessible from the hall from here. Anyway, that's a lot to take in at first. Um, I just wanted to give you a bit of a brief, quick tour before we get going, and uh, now we start gutting. Cheers. I was going to rip out all the plumbing today, and if you look outside, you'll see all that nasty old copper. Uh, that's what the uh, trailer was plumbed with, as all old trailers were. So I've ripped it all out, all the way through underneath, around the hot water heater, into the next locker there. The hot water heater is actually relatively new. You can see those two copper lines are still heading back for the old shower, which I'm going to abandon and pull out. Also changed the tap to a nice new tap. Had this nasty old leaking, miserable tap that was on there, so got a decent tap on here now. So I'm going to redo it all in PEX plumbing. For those of you who are not familiar with it, PEX is uh, just plastic tubing basically. And it's very, very easy to work with. And uh, it'll make a much, much neater job of redoing the plumbing. The other project we're doing today is installing an outside shower. Um, because I'm ripping the bathroom out, and uh, I've always wanted an outside shower anyway, I picked up this outside shower at an RV place the other day. I can't say I'm particularly pleased with it. It is really cheaply made, but it is an outside shower. A little locker there, and uh, it's gonna go right here, uh, which is a fairly short run over to the hot water heater, which is one of the big problems with showers. You don't wanna have a long run from the hot water heater to the shower, because when you turn on the shower while you're waiting for the water to get hot, you're wasting water. So this is not too bad, because it's straight underneath the other side. The built-in shower is only about two feet from the hot water heater, which is great. So it's gonna sit right in this bay, which sits right in the back of the um, drawer cabinet in the in the galley, which is good. Interesting, taking the little latch that I just took off for the door, 
Uh, I'll work out some other solution for that. I can see the original color, which was much uh, creamier color, much closer to uh, our recreational white or almond or limestone, um, which is the color that I'm really hoping to paint the trailer. Because when I repaint the trailer, the, truck, the two uh, colors are British Racing Green and Limestone, which is the color of that wheel, which is a genuine Land Rover color. And uh, I thought they'd look great together. Anyway, this day has turned out way nicer than it was supposed to be. Uh, Patrick and Jessica have gone surfing somewhere. Uh, but uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day here on the uh, Gulf Coast. Okay, this is the big moment. I'm going to start drilling. God, I hope this is in the right place. Face to be in forward. Well, the outer skin uh, came off real easy with tin snips. Heavier metal than I would have thought it was. It's pretty thick aluminum. Anyway, lovely stuff. Uh, I, I did come across a wire, which isn't great. I'm hoping there'll be enough slack that I can push that aside. And uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to cut the inner skin because it's too far in for a jigsaw blade to fit from here. And I can't really work in the back of the cabinet in the trailer. So, anyway, I'll think of something. Cheers. Well, welcome back. Well, I was really lucky. Um, I thought about it and I'd figured it and I'd measured it, but actually, you can't see it. But there's a um, a girt or a cross member, I don't know what you want to call it. There's a structural member right here, about a quarter inch down from this lip. And this rivet and a bunch under this tape you can't see suggested that there might be another one up here, and there is a quarter inch up from this. So I just made it, and if you can see here, I am just about a quarter of an inch this side of this bulkhead, which is absolutely necessary because that bulkhead, even though it's an existing bulkhead, I'm going to put a new one in the same spot. Just back from that is the, this bedroom hanging off there. So it's worked out really, really, really well. And I've done a miserable job of running the pecs down through the cabinet, under the trailer, and over and up into the locker that has the hot water heater in it. So really, this has gone really, really well. I'm amazed. Now all I have to do is um, just actually install the actual box and uh, maybe enjoy uh, the evening. Beautiful evening here on the Gulf of Mexico. What do you think, Jordy? He wants to go play with the kids. Come on, Pop. Come on, Pop. Yeah, that's a good boy. Cheers. All right, so packs connected, cocked up, ready to install. This uh, this actually went really, really well. I mean, I still have to do the plumbing inside, but that'll be a piece of cake by comparison. Beautiful, beautiful evening here. Time for a clean up and a bit of a barbecue. Okay, I'm thrilled. We're done. Doesn't really look Airstream. Um, you know, this has got that Airstream look to it. It does have curved edges. Uh, anyway, um, but you know, what do you do? So, opens up, take your shower out. I put the hook for the uh, shower head way over here because I wanted to put it on one of the ribs in the trailer um, to be a little stronger, and there's a rib in there. And it also means that all the hose isn't sitting in front of the knobs when you're actually trying to uh, adjust your shower. Anyway, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. It's got the uh, dribble mode on it here, which is kind of handy, especially for an outside shower, trying to economize. And uh, the great thing about it is that the handle comes off and it'll come low enough that I can uh, wash Jordy, which is uh, an integral part of this project because I'm telling you living on the beach is making a mess of Jordy Isn't it pup? Yes, yeah, he, uh, he likes to get into whatever's on the beach. All right Well, that's uh, that's half of today's project the rest I'm gonna do inside, but it's pretty easy and uh, it's definitely barbecue time. Cheers Well, this is our first really gorgeous night um, Here in San Pedro Island. This is just just glorious because we're not on the Gulf side, we're on the other side of the island. In other words, Texas is that way. Uh, it means we get to look south. Well, west, south and west to get the, uh, the sunset, which is kind of cool. It also means we're right on the beach. Most of the campgrounds here are uh, 100 or so feet back from the beach over the dune. Um, oh, that's cool. This is nice. I like this. Cheers. Hi, right, if you've enjoyed this Airstream video, click at the top and you'll go to the next uh, video in the series. If you click the middle link, you'll end up with the uh, playlist of all the Airstream videos and the bottom link will take you to the next regular Travels with Geordie video. As always, thanks so much for watching and if you enjoyed it, please comment um, and uh, let me know what you think. Cheers!